in the EHA, there's a, there are several scientific working groups, and I'm head of the scientific working group on diagnosis. So we are going to organize a meeting in February 2018, which is going to deal about diagnosis, more really about integrated diagnosis in oncohematology, starting with two problems that arise every day in any hematology laboratory, which is too few cells or too many cells, so cytopenia and leukocytosis. Starting from that, there are a lot of things to be done, and that's what we are going to deal about. The meeting is going to be made for people who are working in the lab, predominantly, and um, there are two things in hematology that are sort of taken for granted, that you look down the microscope to see what the cells are, and then you go on the flow cytometer to complete what you've seen under the microscope. So it's so much taken for granted that training in that is sort of forgotten somewhere. So people are very keen to come and meet experts in morphology, in also hematopathology and in flow cytometry to get again into the daily thing that they have to look at. It can be very complicated. There are textbooks, but it's not enough. So having a two days, two and a half days, hands-on almost discussion with the experts is something that people like very much. In hematology, what you need to have is a diagnosis. The patient doesn't come with a label on his forehead saying, I have this disease, please treat me. So morphology, full cytometry, and no other methods like cytogenetics or molecular biology are all to be integrated together so that we can provide the clinician with a proper answer for the, for the patient. And then the treatment is going to be adapted. We are also talking now about personalized medicine or precision medicine, which need all those steps in the lab before you actually go to the patient and the treatment. Participants to this kind of meeting really like to see the difficult thing that they see down their microscope or in a flow cytometer and understand that other people also find that difficult. So we're going to go through very bizarre things uh, that they encounter and don't really every time know what to do about. And then we're going to talk with them and the experts that are going to come there are going to help them understand that it is difficult what they are doing and that I'm not alone in the world for that. So it's a sort of companionship. The program is very busy, but we hope to have enough time for discussions with the experts and between the attendants. As I just said, diagnosis is at the basis of everything. And more and more, samples also come back to the lab for the follow-up of patients. For instance, something that is getting more and more important is minimal residual disease. Classically, the morphology is a key of the gold standard for leukemia. When you see less than 5% of blasts in the microscope, you consider the patient in remission. But this isn't true. We now, now with other techniques, that we can go far deeper to try and find out the last remaining detectable cells that are telling us that the patient is not cured. So this is going to be also an important topic in, in that. And we're going also to have the patients come there, because some in, in one specific disease, which is chronic myelocytic leukemia, we can treat them very efficiently. We are discussing now of stopping treatment and they know very well about the follow-up of their disease. So we want also their feedback because we do things in the lab for them during the whole life of their disease that they also want to know about. We're not going to change the world, but the thing is that we are in a changing world and the people who are going to attend this meeting know that. They want to be up to date to what has to be done, keep, to doing, keep doing the things that are the basics, but also know about other new things that are going to change the treatment, as I said before, and really I hope that you're going to enjoy that. So please come to Barcelona in February 2018.